this direction, then you hold the chalk like this. If you want it in this direction, you hold the chalk like this. Right? If you want it in this direction, you hold the chalk like this. But that's just the beginning. <laughs> the idea is that you put pressure on the chalk at an angle. It should not be like this. And you should not do this. Do it like this, and then you let the chalk jump. Oh my god! It jumps by itself. <laughs> Did you notice when I go this direction that I instinctively already move my hands? Now, if you want to draw far apart from each other, you go this way. You go fast. If you want them close to each other, wow! It's that simple. If, if you manage to get this idea that it jumps and you push it back on the blackboard because you push it this direction and you have the angle there. Once you get this idea, it only is a matter of practicing a few hours and then you can even do circles. While you do a circle, you have to change the direction because you always have to be pointing in the direction that you go. The circle will take you a little longer. I bet you that right now you can probably do this. You cannot do it with a piece of chalk like this, but this is perfect, and you hold it near the end, and you hold it like this in your hand. Firm, not loose, firm. Try it. Were you my audience? No, oh. I have a job. <laughs> you got it, you did it already. I'll practice, get the circle down. <laughs> well,